Welcome back. Today we'll be doing the side battle of supply raid. Um, we are just mostly our, we haven't reorganized our troops since coming out of Stones River. Just done some basic maintenance, swapped officers around to get guys just barely above the uh, next tier, uh, and done some basic replenishment. But otherwise, we haven't rearranged our troops because you don't need to use any troops in this battle. Armory-wise, um, Spencers have finally shown up uh, in the shop, so we're going to be purchasing those as well. Um, bought more sniper rifles, bought um, the Spencer carbines. Again, we still don't have anywhere near enough to use them. Um, I'm going to continue to start buying up some 1859s as well. Not immediately, but probably after the next couple of battles. Artillery, howitzers, parrots, james, pretty standard. Um, barracks is very healthy. We've got a lot of generals and colonels after I did a bunch of rearranging. Bought a bunch of um, majors for the artillery because they don't really need um, good officers. Career points, more into uh, economy. Um, I'm probably going to take a tenth point in army organization because I'm we're, we're fielding three core and I'm starting to get enough guys. Um, stashed away in here that I want to have a fifth core to uh, be able to move divisions around more freely. And as a reminder, Stones River, we inflicted um, somewhere around 36k or so, give or take, uh, casualties. And the report, they get 34 back. So we did slight damage to them. Anyway, supply raid. Strategic raid has been planned in an attempt to cut Lee's line of supply. You will command three cavalry divisions that belong to the Army of the Potomac, and your objective is to capture a crucial supply depot that connects the railroad from Richmond to Fredericksburg. You will operate deep in the enemy's territory, so beware of Stuart's rebel cavalry. As you can see from here, it's cavalry pretty much up and down. Um, so this is going to be kind of interesting uh, with a couple brigades of was this 10 pounder ordnance and 10 pounder parrot to back them up um, when you have cavalry like this in this kind of battle you're going to want to dismount a lot of them um, especially since there are a lot of fortifications that we're going to push in take over and garrison ourselves so they're going to start with a um, fairly weak force that we should be able to easily push through um, at least at the start, and then they're going to get a large wave of cavalry uh, reinforcing them. So we're going to want to keep an eye out for that. And they're going to come in from the north side. So we need to get a lot of damage in early um, before the, that force comes in. We've managed to reach the supply depot unnoticed by Stewart's cavalry. The first division is taking positions in those woods. Soon the 2nd and 3rd Divisions will join you from Northeast. It's advised to reconnoiter the area until all your forces are present in the battlefield. The rebels are expected to give a hard fight for these supplies. Dismounting some of your cavalry to skirmish or occupy houses will definitely help you to overcome their defenses. So... Because these guys are going to come in, we'll be able to take the woods and use that to dismount to fight these guys. So instead, we're going to just come sweep in, take these woods. Um, if there's any guys here, I don't think there should be. Kill them, move up, use these woods for cover, fight through, push up to there. We're going to probably sit here and then wait for our reinforcements to come in that way. So... And these all have, yep, 1855s, and that's our 10 pounder ordnance. There's no real point in deliberately getting some of these guys killed um, because 
1855s just aren't really worth that much. We don't want to use them anyway. We don't have supply issues with them. So, not really a big deal. You notice there's no timer here, so we just want to play smart. Um, no scenario timer, but there is a timer to uh, when their forces will show up. See that dismount, and we're able to These guys managed to route, push them up again. This is probably too far because I think we're taking flank shots from those guys. So, next division is coming in. Oops. Like this. Mount back up. We're just going to wait there. Some more of our troops coming in. Dismount them. These guys ready to hit them from that side.
artillery up as well. Shift the cavalry this way. these guys to let me get this artillery out of the way Stuart's cavalry are, is here. We are in trouble. All right, pause. So we need to very rapidly turn and get into this position. Turn and get into this position. Troops okay here. Need to push him down here. Probably okay. What's their melee? It's not very good. Okay, just checking if any of these guys had better melee scores. This force needs to get out of the way. Charge in and get these guys back into position. scattered fight here. Pull back slightly. It's getting routed out. Okay.
So these guys are having problems. Good enough. Um, we don't really care about any of these troops, so getting a little bit more um, casualties inflicted, considering the manpower disadvantage, is perfectly fine. Um, you don't have any control of your troops, so if you, w if you just win these battles, that's really all you're asking for. Goods, rescued some of these, captured, hey, Lamont's lots aren't, aren't bad. Captured some of these, They're, these are pretty good. Um, yep, alright, we'll take that. Thanks for watching.